Oka KTN News, Nairobi. Now, meanwhile, President William Ruto says the affordable housing project will go ahead despite the harsh housing levy ruling made by Court of Appeal today. Speaking in Meru uh, during day two of his visit, Ruto and his, uh, and his Kenya Kwanzaa allies insisted they will enact a compliant legislation that will replace the now outlawed housing levy. The court ruling comes a few days after the president held a meeting with Chief Justice Martha Kome to address some of the allegations that uh, the judiciary was deliberately sabotaging his development agenda. Clement Masombo with that story. President William Bruto has once again asserted that his administration's affordable housing program will continue as planned, despite the Court of Appeal's decision on Friday to uphold the ruling by the High Court, which suspended the reduction of housing levy. Speaking in Kutine, Meru County on Friday, Ruto emphasized that despite the ruling, he had received enough public support to proceed with the affordable housing programs, which he said would create thousands of jobs for Kenyan youth and alleviate the poor living conditions. Mimi nataka ni waambie wale wameenda kotini ati kuzuia hii mpango ya housing. I want to tell them there is no greater public interest than the employment of millions of citizens. The government enacted the housing levy to fund the ambitious housing programs. According to the court, the levy is unconstitutional and that it was introduced without a legal framework. The president, however, says he has no intentions to stop the implementation of the program. And we are going to go forward with making sure that we create opportunities for jobs for the young people of our country because that is what the people of Kenya want. That is the right thing to do, and that is where public interest is. The decision by the Court of Appeal has attracted criticism from politicians allied to the ruling party, UDA. They have pledged to formulate laws that will be compliant to the Constitution. I want to say for the avoidance of doubt, we are already making the law that the court authorized that we go and make the law. They should have given us a chance to complete the law. Nasisi kwa bunge. Tutatekeleza wajibu wetu wakuunda sheria, tutengeneze sheria mpya ili mpango ya housing iendele vile wanainji wakangeto wamesema. Tumesema iendele? Na hii now, it is now a setback because Kenya kwanza in the manifesto ilikuwa part of affordable housing ilikuwa ndani. So by halting, uh, by the court stopping, this is now halting the whole process. This is not the first time the judiciary is facing criticism from the executive and a section of members of the legislature. The president and his troops have on several occasions accused judiciary of corruption, claiming that some of the judges received bribes to sabotage the Kenya Kwanza administration development agenda. The president's claims came after a series of court orders stopping the implementation of various state projects, including the housing levy and the social health insurance fund, which was lifted later. Mweshimua Rais, nataka ni kuambie tutaheshimu ule uamuzi wa mahakama. Vile mahakama imesema leo, mahakama ya rufa, tutaheshimu uamuzi wao. Ali this week, the president held a meeting with a team from the judiciary led by Chief Justice Martha Kome. The meeting was aimed at addressing some of the issues raised against the judiciary by the other two arms of government. The meeting between the two received heavy criticism from the opposition as well as the Law Society of Kenya. Clement Masombo, KTN News. And in yet another